New today, the Dane County Board passes a resolution making the county a sanctuary for transgendered and non-binary people. What community members said about the motion. Plus, U.S. officials are investigating after government agencies were hit by a cyber attack. This is News 3 Now at noon. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Kane. Thanks for tuning in. The Dane County Board has passed a resolution to make the county the first in the state to be a sanctuary for trans and non-binary individuals. It passed with 25 yes votes and only one no vote from District 20's Jeff Wiegand. Sanctuary County means if any state laws were passed criminalizing gender affirming care, the sheriff's office would be urged to make enforcement low priority. 49 people were on the list to speak at the meeting that lasted nearly six hours and well past midnight. People from all sides of the issue spoke at the meeting. One speaker says the resolution does not have language that protects those under 18. No one is banning drag shows for adults. Nobody is banning gender affirming care for adults. No one is telling you that you cannot exist. Love who you want to love, live your life, do whatever you want to do to yourself. But when it comes to children, we have a problem. Another speaker suggested tabling the motion to take more time on the issue, but offered support to the LGBTQ community. If anyone in that community here tonight feels that they don't have any food or a place to stay, or they're being bullied or they're being harassed, I will stand next to you and make sure that never, ever happens again. One 12-year-old transgender child spoke at the meeting saying those making these decisions should listen to the children they impact. I know a lot of the people opposing this have talked a lot about kids and have said like they're speaking on behalf of kids. I'm 12 and I'm trans and I live in Dane County. I'm very fortunate that I do live in Dane County because I have received access to gender affirming care. And quite honestly, that has saved my life. The state of Wisconsin has not passed any laws punishing trans or non-binary individuals for gender-affirming care at this point. But around the country, 491 anti-LGBTQ bills are circulating or have passed already this year. Let's head to the Weather Center. Meteorologist Greg Barnard has a look at the weekend forecast. How are things looking, Greg? Well, we still got that stubborn low clouds out there that have been hung around for all morning long, kept our te uh, temperatures down pretty much into the low 60s, and you can look at visible satellite. We still have it pretty much across southern Wisconsin with that northeast wind, but it is beginning to erode, at least in western areas. You can see more of that if we zoom in. So far western areas, Bosco to Prairie Sheen are starting to see the breaks. There's also some breaks starting to appear towards Janesville, and that should be the trend that we'll see eventually this afternoon, but we won't entirely lose the cloud cover overall. But as I mentioned, the temperatures really low 60s, quite cool for this time of year around noon much warmer as you go further west where the sun has coming out 70 degrees in Bosqueville but still 63 and Madison right now as you look at the afternoon we're going to see more sun come out those temperatures should rise but it's going to be late in the afternoon we'll get back into the 70s mid 70s which is a little bit below what we should be this time of year which is around 80 degrees but all in all a little bit warmer than we had yesterday what we'll have again planning for is a warmer Father's Day weekend Hot maybe next weekend, and unfortunately, we'll try to explain if we got any type of rain coming this weekend or even next as the drought actually continues and gets worse. All right, we'll check back, Greg. Thank mm -hmm. you. Well, it's now been five days since 13-year-old James Yablonski was first reported missing from his Saw County home. Authorities later found a family vehicle the teen reportedly left his home in near the Baraboo Bluffs. So far, crews have searched through more than 5,000 acres in and around Devil's Lake State Park. They found a makeshift campsite and a cell phone, but still no sign of the teen. Residents across the south central U.S. are surveying the damage following severe storms yesterday. More than 10 tornadoes touched down, shredding dozens of homes, businesses, and trees. At least four people were killed in the storms, and in Texas, more than 50 were injured. Several people are also missing. Some Oklahoma communities also face a mix of heavy rain and hail. I've been here less than 24 hours. I ran inside, got my dog, went to the bathtub, and we waited it out. As of this morning, almost a half a million customers were without power across the south. A U.S. government agency has been caught up in the latest ransomware attack coming from overseas. Natalie Brand tells us what happened. At least one major U.S. government agency and several private institutions have fallen victim to cyber criminals who are demanding ransom for stolen data. This criminal group 
has started to put the data that they extorted out on the dark web because they're trying to get companies to pay for it. Targets include the Energy Department as well as Johns Hopkins affiliated hospitals in Maryland and Florida, Georgia's statewide university system, the Minnesota Department of Education. Shell and British Airways were also hit in the global attack. The hackers infiltrated a popular file sharing app called Move It to gain access to the sites. Bob Gurley is the former chief technology officer for the Defense Intelligence Agency. This Move It file transfer app is widely used because it makes securing data so convenient. It makes it easy to move data in a way that's encrypted. Officials say a Russia-based cyber criminal gang called CLOP is behind the attack. They never attack Russian targets. And the software they use, it seems to be configured to where it will not attack a, a system that uses a Cyrillic keyboard. Isn't that an interesting coincidence? U.S. officials say there's no evidence the hackers coordinated their attack with the Russian government. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington. So far, officials say U.S. military and intelligence agencies do not appear to be impacted by the breach. Pope Francis is back in the Vatican after being released from the hospital this morning more than a week after his latest abdominal surgery. When reporters asked how he was feeling, the 86-year-old pontiff said, quote, still alive, a joke he made just two months ago after being hospitalized for bronchitis. We're very, very glad to hear that uh, he's feeling better and he's coming home. Before heading back to the Vatican, the Pope stopped at the famous St. Mary's Major Basilica, where he often visits to give thanks. Vatican aides announced Pope Francis will make his traditional Sunday noon appearance at a window overlooking St. Peter's Square. The Madison Area Parade of Homes officially underway this weekend. We're taking a sneak peek at some of the new homes up for viewing. The, these homes are part of the cluster in the Windsor Gardens neighborhood of Sun Prairie. Another parade site is Arboretum Village in Wanakee. There are also scattered site homes individually located in distinct neighborhoods across the area. This year there are 26 different homes by 22 local builders with something for everyone to see. The Madison Area Builders has been doing the Parade of Homes since the 1950s, and uh, it's it seems like every year there's something new. It's more ex it's exciting, and it's it's been a it's been a tremendous uh, group of people that have put these homes together. The Spring Parade of Homes happens now through Sunday, June 25th. We posted a link to tickets on channel3000.com. And now is the time to vote for the Best of Madison 2023. You have until the end of the month to vote for your favorite businesses, people, things to do, much more. Head to channel3000.com and look for this story on our homepage. Then scroll down to the bottom of the article and you can click on each category to vote. All you need is a valid email address and register to make sure that your votes are counted. Don't forget, you can only vote once per category. Well, there's more to come on News 3 Now at Noon, the top gifts for Dad as we near Father's Day and how you can collect from a $23 million Google settlement. That's next in the Money Watch Report. You're watching News 3 Now at Noon. Flex Steel is furniture that comforts, furniture for living, furniture with a heart of steel. Save big during our Flex Steel authorized sale going on now at Wanakee Furniture ETC. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2023. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Fry Construction for Best Roofer, Windows and Doors, Kitchen and Bath Design, and Best Home Repair. Vote today for Fry Construction on MadisonMagazine.com. It's the Bergstrom June 3000 sales event supporting Make-A-Wish Wisconsin. Help us grant wishes for kids in our communities that are battling critical illnesses. For every vehicle purchase you make in June, Bergstrom Automotive will contribute $50 to help kids in need. And for every test drive taken, Bergstrom will donate $5. Stop in and test drive today or visit BergstromDriveForDreams.com. The Bergstrom June 3000 sales event supporting Make-A-Wish Wisconsin. Help grant life-changing wishes for kids in our communities. Attention, Wisconsin veterans. I'm Tony Evers, the governor of Wisconsin. If you are a veteran struggling to pay for rent, utilities, or other life-sustaining services, I want you to know that the Veterans Rental Assistance Program is here to help. The Veterans Rental Assistance Program was created by and for people living in Wisconsin with benefit approvals 
being issued to veterans in just days, not months. You have already made a most noble sacrifice. You shouldn't have to continue doing so. We are here to support you. With pride in the way, it's never easy to ask for assistance, but rest assured, we are here to help. The VRAP team is standing by to help. So call 833-WISVRAP or visit VRAPWI.com. You've always been there for us. We want you to know that we're here for you. On behalf of the state of Wisconsin, thank you. Ride a chip. <clears throat> Just taking a break. That window's a bear. Don't worry. My cousin's got a guy. <laughs> hey, I'm not sure I can help you with the house gas, but I can help you replace this window fast. Let the experts at Feldco kickstart your summer with two-for-one windows. And no interest until 2025. Plus, we'll get it done with Feldco fast. Two-for-one windows won't last long. Hurry. Call now. Call 866 for feldco Flex Steel is furniture that comforts, furniture for living, furniture with a heart of steel. Save big during our Flex Steel authorized sale, going on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Ticketmaster owner Live Nation and SeatGeek have announced they will no longer have hidden fees meaning full cost of tickets will soon be visible to customers up front. It came the same day President Biden hosted executives from those companies and others to tout the administration's work to crack down on so-called junk fees, which surprise consumers. If you've done a Google search and clicked on a results link between October 25th, 2006 and September 30th, 2013, you can now collect part of a $23 million settlement. It's part of a lawsuit that alleged the tech giant violated users' privacy by sharing their search terms to third-party websites. Claims must be made online within the next six weeks, and the website says the average payout will be around $7.70 per person. Google continues to deny the allegations. And Sunday is Father's Day. A National Retail Federation survey shows that Americans plan to spend a record high $22 billion to celebrate. The top gifts for dad are special outings, followed by clothing and gift cards. That's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Chanel Call. Checking Wall Street at the noon hour, the Dow Industrials up 47 points. The Nasdaq, though, down almost six. The S&P 500 up almost eight. Our call for action volunteers are in the building taking your consumer complaints and taking action on your behalf. Volunteers are here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so you can call for action right now at 608-270-2833 or submit a claim anytime at channel3000.com slash call for action. Next to noon, we'll share today's egg prices. Greg has the latest weekend forecast. And then today on Live Before, we go center stage for Verona Area Community Theater's production of The Wizard of Oz, opening this weekend. That's coming up at 4. Welcome to Oakmont Senior Community in Verona. Active seniors 55 plus will enjoy our new luxury apartments professionally managed by award-winning Attic Angel Community. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. Fry Construction is celebrating 28 years with a big, big, big anniversary sale. Join us to save 28%. That's right, 28%. Many of your neighbors already know how we strive to meet and exceed expectations with each and every project. That's why they voted us best roofer three years in a row. Experience the best of Madison for yourself with Fry Construction. Act now for 28% off gutters or insulation with any full roofing project. Schedule your free consultation today at FryConstruction.com. We are Dane County. We are Madison, McFarland, Sun Prairie. We are Wanakee, Stoughton, Middleton, Deerfield, and everywhere in between. We are committed to being unique in supporting the value when families share the memories of family and friends at the loss of a loved one. We are Crest Funeral and Cremation Service, more than just a funeral home. We are the people you know and trust to help families before, during, and after the loss of a loved one. Learn more at CrestFuneralService.com. Here's your parachute. Packed it myself. Certain it's okay? Mm-hmm. Are you 
before Imprint Certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of congratulating coworkers or saying thank you for being a customer with promotional products from 4imprint. Our expert team is dedicated to making your satisfaction a certainty. Talk to myself. Land the perfect products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. Welcome to Oakmont Senior Community in Verona. Active seniors 55 plus will enjoy our new luxury apartments professionally managed by award-winning Attic Angel Community. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. On the Jennifer Hudson Show, the legendary Debbie Allen. You always look so fly. Come on. <laughs> Debbie came ready to dance. And the woman who gives part of every paycheck to those in need. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. Madison Mallards Baseball brings you a night of fireworks on the base paths. And after the game is over, don't miss the Mallards' next fireworks night, Friday, June 16th against the Lakeshore Chinooks. Get your tickets today. News 3 Now is a proud sponsor of Madison Mallards Baseball. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Pam Yonke from the Midwest Farm Report is out of the radio barn today. She'll be back on Monday. So here are your farm members. Well, June is men, Men's Health Month. Men are less likely than women to get the preventive care they need, but Bradley Blackburn tells us new approaches to primary care are trying to change that. Stephen Bocchgalupo is a model patient. Every year, he comes to NYU Langone's Tisch Center for Men's Health for a checkup with Dr. Stephen Lamb. Would you say your health is pretty good? I think so. The 43-year-old is serious about his health because he wants to be there for his wife and son. His own mother had diabetes and passed away when he was just 26. That's always in the back of my mind. So certainly I want to do what I can to minimize any repeat in that history. A long, healthy life starts with prevention. And that's why Dr. Lamb helped create this center that puts primary care labs and specialists all under one roof that's tailor-made for men. A lot of men don't appreciate that you're planting the seeds for your future wellness in your 20s and 30s. And so if you take really good care of your 20s and 30s, you have a chance of not living to 50, but living to 90 or 100. Heart disease and cancer are leading causes of death for all men and are often preventable. But surveys show more than half of men don't get regular health screenings. And numbers are even worse for men of color. As you get older, Dr. Lamb says a regular checkup can keep you on track, even if it's not necessarily once a year. At some point in your 20s, you should have a visit. All right. I do think you can set the standards for that individual, whether they need to be seen in a year or two years. As long as my health is good, we'll keep it at once a year. An ounce of prevention only works if you take it. Just get that checkup. And the hope is that more men will put their health first. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. Men also have lower health literacy levels than women. That meaning that they do not understand information about their health or how to get care. A lot of people want to be grilling out for dad on Sunday. Greg, how are things looking? 
Actually, this weekend actually should be fairly nice. Uh, we're not going to have too much of a precipitation chance, though we do need the rain. Temperature wise, should be that hot either. So that's the good news, too. Unfortunately, the uh, drought monitor was updated. This says June 8th. It was actually just uh, yesterday. So most of southern Wisconsin now is moderate drought with some pockets as you go further to Chicago that are in an even higher category. There has been some improvements as you zoom out pretty much western areas where most of the precipitation has fallen up to the northern plains and up to down to the central plains. Some of that area has improved over the last several months. Unfortunately, it's kind of vected up towards our area with the precipitation. For the next seven days, we're not seeing much at all. Really, you're looking at maybe the green a tenth to maybe down to a half inch further in Iowa, but most of the state's going to remain dry. As you zoom out, really the precipitation for the next seven days is kind of just a ring around the whole Midwest as a high pressure kind of keeps us dry, but areas to the west and then even to the southeast continue to get dumped with a lot of rainfall. So that's all the way through next Friday. So still not good news for the drought conditions. So as I mentioned, uh, precipitation, there might be a shower or storm on Friday. I'll kind of spell that out in a little bit. Dry looks like next week we might have another small opportunity, and that's the key thing, small opportunity for next week to see some precipitation, but still very small. To, to temperatures today, cool today with the cloud cover. We kept those temperatures down. It should be warmer, more seasonal. 80s degrees, maybe a little bit warmer on Father's Day. Next week, I think we will start to approach 90 in many locations. Overall, big picture shows really all the activity, which has been really the last several weeks, has been staying out to the west. We see some activity get close to us, as you can see as some of the showers and thunderstorms approach this by late Saturday into Sunday. There's your chance that we might see something, especially western areas, as that gets closer Sunday afternoon to get a shower or thunderstorm. If you happen to get lucky to get one, it won't amount to be too much. That'll actually pass through uh, Sunday into Monday and then we'll get dry again too. So if we look at temperatures today, we're still going to keep this cloud cover with this northeast wind. It's going to break up a little bit, but not entirely. So temperatures this afternoon really almost approaching 80 in southwest Wisconsin. But Madison is going to be struggling to get into the 70s as we go through this afternoon. We'll start seeing some of that cloud cover remain, but you will see the sunshine come out. And I think that's when we'll get up close to 75 in Madison. Otherwise, as we go through tonight, mostly clear, but I think we will see some of the cloud cover come back in some of that low clouds back as we get closer to tomorrow morning, but still mid to upper 50s. Tomorrow, as you see, the winds begin to turn around from the south. That'll actually warm us up. We'll get rid of that cloud cover and it should boost our temperatures tomorrow afternoon, mostly into the 80s for pretty much all the wide, maybe in a few mid 80s as you go further e uh, further west, a little bit cooler as you go towards Lake Michigan, the mid upper 70s. And then as you go through Saturday afternoon, we'll still keep those temperatures going pretty well. For the smoke wise, the haze that we've had the last couple of days, we don't look to see too much of this. It's just a little bit of light haze up in the a loft in the atmosphere. Most of the thicker smoke has been pushed off to the northeast. We're not going to see much downstream either, so I think we're okay with that. If you look for rainfall, once again, this pattern, we see system after system kind of approach the area but then fall apart with that high pressure to the northeast. As we go all the way through next week, it remains in the plains, but as it gets closer, it continues to fall apart, and unfortunately, that is going to continue. So as you look at the 7 to 10 day, it is dry pretty much. Like I said, if you're lucky, you might see a shower or thunderstorm come Sunday. Otherwise, we're looking at next weekend with the potential there for that. And that Father's Day should be on Sunday, not Monday. <laughs> and we're looking at 90 degrees as we go potentially next week, too, although once again, remains dry. The drought sort of self-perpetuates itself, doesn't it? It sometimes seems to kind of move to evac. So like I said, the plane's got a lot of precipitation. It's been sitting over there. Now we've kind of got the dry spell. And uh, like I said, it doesn't look good even for July. And if you look far down the road to August, it looks fairly dry too. Oof. All right. Thank you, Greg. Mm -hmm. well, there's more to come on News for Now at Noon. Up next, Howard's preparing a big meal for dear old dad in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. Grab a stack of napkins, because you're going to need them for the humongous ribs we're making today. The best part? You'll have the recipe in time for Father's Day. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. It's a brand new day. Don't let junk get in the way. All you have to do is point. <laughs> and you'll be back to your old self again. <laughs> yeah! Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK or visit 1-800-GOT-JUNK.COM. If you're a homeowner looking to make improvements to your home this spring, there's a product now available in your area that's going to save you thousands of dollars on your home's most important investment, your roof. 
Roof rejuvenation from Greener Shingles will add 5 to 15 years of life to your existing roof without having to go through an expensive roof replacement. I'm here with Russell Beckham and he's a local authorized dealer of Greener Shingles that's helping homeowners save big money with roof rejuvenation. Russell, explain the roof rejuvenation process from Greener Shingles. Roof rejuvenation is the process of reintroducing the protective qualities back into asphalt shingles, such as the flexibility, the granular adhesion, and also adding resistance to hail impact. That's pretty amazing. Call now for a free roof inspection and see if your roof qualifies for roof rejuvenation from your local authorized dealer of Greener Shingles. The number is on the screen right now, but don't just take it from Russell and me. Listen to some of our happy customers. I was just in the backyard the other day, uh, you know, doing yard work and stuff, and I, I can't help but to look at my roof because the way it looked before and the way it looks now is just, it's just unbelievable. It appears we probably saved around $20,000 uh, by doing this process. Save money in 2023 by extending the life of your roof by 5 to 15 years. Call the number on the screen right now for a free roof inspection and learn more about roof rejuvenation from your local Greener Shingles dealer. Call now. Alien tape is strong enough to hold this fishbowl on a moving car. Just peel and stick and make anything stay in place quick. A wooden shelf, a basket to glass, rugs to the floor, and so much more. Alien tape sticks to brick, pavers, marble, tile, plastic, even leather. Nothing works better. Alien tape secures in seconds, then twist, pull, and rinse to reuse. You're dying to try it. Here's your chance to buy it. Call 1-800-490-1347 or go to tryaliantape.com. That's 1-800-490-1347. It's a brand new day. Don't let junk get in the way. All you have to do is point. <laughs> and you'll be back to your old self again. <laughs> yeah! Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Or visit 1-800-GOT-JUNK.COM. I've got a question. How come on Mother's Day we try to come up with just the right thing to make for mom so she doesn't have to cook? Or we take her out? But on Father's Day, dad's often the one doing the cooking. So here's a recipe to try out this weekend, no matter who's wearing the kiss the cook apron. They're beef ribs, which are big in size and huge when it comes to flavor. We begin by combining some ground cumin, dried oregano, and crushed thyme, along with a bit of chili powder, garlic powder, and some salt. After this gets mixed, we rub it over some beef ribs. And if you're not familiar with them, they're cut from above the prime ribs, so they're really flavorful. After roasting them uncovered for about an hour, we'll slather them with some barbecue sauce and back into the oven they go until they're super tender. The results are ribs that are so big, so tender, and so flavorful, you won't be able to stop eating them. Just make sure you have plenty of napkins. To get this recipe in time for Father's Day, all you have to do is visit our website and type in dinosaur ribs. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a monstrously big way for Dad to say, ooh, it's so good. Here's Greg now with one final look at the weekend forecast. Yeah, once we get rid of some of the cloud cover this afternoon, tonight we actually should see temperatures getting back into the 50s. And then tomorrow, more sun to be expected. So we should climb everyone up into the low 80s, which is right where we should be this time of year. And then for Father's Day, it looks similar. Maybe slight warm than conditions. We're looking at about 84 degrees with maybe a shower or th thunderstorm. I think the chances are very low. It's probably if you go west of the areas, you might actually see some of that. Otherwise, next week looks hot and unfortunately not a lot of precipitation.